Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching and we're in static. So we're going to do problem 2.103. It says determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force. So we got these two force, f of 1 and f of 2. And so f of 1 is 20 pounds and it's directed all the way from A to B. And f of 2 it's 40 pounds all the way from A to C. So the plan for this problem is that with these A, B, and C points, we're going to find some unit vectors. With these unit vectors, we can decompose these two forces and at the end, add them up and find the resultant force, okay? So let's just start by locating where the point A is. So A in the X direction actually has nothing because it's at the origin. I know it looks a little bit weird, but it's over there at, with zero in the X direction. It's why it has 2 going to the left, so it's negative 2. For its z, it has positive 4 because it's going 4 up. And we got that these guys are fit. If we do point B, it's this guy over here, so we find that it has 1.5 in the x direction, so 1.5 in the x direction. It also has negative 3 in the y direction and it got 0 in the z direction. Okay, now if we do point C, now point C is given by this blue triangle that they're giving us. So let's redraw this blue triangle over here to picture it better. So we got this right triangle that has a 20 degree angle and they're telling us the hypotenuse is 2 feet. Now, it's adjacent is a y value, so y over here and x over here. So the opposite, if you check it, it's the x, it's in the x direction. So if we want to know the x component, like the, where the z is, in, so we can use this triangle. So x is located at 2 feet multiplied by the sine of 20 degrees. Well, on the other hand, the y is the 2 feet multiplied by the cosine of 20 degrees. So if we use our calculator, we can find that out and we get 2 multiplied by sine of 20. And that gives me a decimal, which is, let's see, it is negative 0.684. Why is it negative? Well, because the positive x is this way, so the negative x is going that way. So we have a negative in the x direction. Now, if we want to know the y, it's 2 cosine of 20, so we do 2 cosine of 20, and we get that is 1.88. Now, this guy is positive because it's going to the right, okay? And last, the z direction, which is actually zero. This guy is leaning in the x, y, x plane. And this is fit. So, let's just start by decomposing f of 1. So, if we want to decompose f of 1, it's directed along the a, b vector. So, let's find what a, b is, the vector a, b. So, if we want to find the vector a, b, what we're going to do is that we're going to find, we're going to do b minus a. Remember, it's the second one minus the first one. So for the x direction, we get 1.5 minus 0. And we do the same for the other component. So we do minus 3 minus for the, for the formula. And we do minus 2. So we got minus 2. That's in the j direction. Plus 0 minus the 4 that we have over here on A, that's for the K direction, and all these guys are fit. So if we clean vector AB, we find out that equal to 1.5 in the I direction, minus 1 in the J direction, and minus 4 in the K direction, okay? Just in case you're asking why minus 1, we got minus 3, minus minus 2. So these two minus will kind of will become positive and we'll have minus 3 plus 2. Okay? And these are fit. 
If we want to find the unit vector, we need the magnitude of this vector. So we need the magnitude of vector AB, which is going to be, if we apply Pythagorean theorem, the square root of 1.5 square plus negative 1 square plus negative 4 square. Okay? So let's see what do we get with our calculator. We get that the square root of 1.5 square plus negative 1 square plus negative 4 square okay and this will give us 4.39 feet okay so last the unit vector AB is going to be so we take each component and we divide it by the magnitude so we get 1.5 divided by 4.39 in the i direction minus 1 over 4.39 in the j direction minus 4 over 4.39 in the k direction okay so now that we have the unit vector a b which is the same direction that the f of 1 is doing so we can decompose f of 1 so i'm going to erase this triangle over here we don't need it anymore and we're gonna find that f of 1 it's equal to its magnitude which is 20 multiplied by the unit vector a b okay so f of 1 is going to be equal to so let's multiply 20 by each one of these fractions so we got 20 multiplied by the first fraction which is 1.5 divided by 4.39 this gives me 6 point eighty three in the i direction minus twenty multiplied by the second fraction which is one over four point thirty nine this gives me four point fifty six in the j direction and last we multiply twenty multiplied by these fractions so we get the twenty multiplied by four over four point thirty nine and this gives 18.2 in the k direction all these guys so the unit for these guys are pounds because these are 20 pounds okay so we're done decomposing f of 1 so let's get ahead and find the unit vector for f of 2 so i'm gonna erase this so i make some space we don't need a b anymore so f of 2 is directed along AZ, so we need to find vector AC. So if we do that, we find that we need to do C minus A. So if we do C minus A, let's start with the X, we got negative 0 0.684 minus A, which is 0 in the I direction, plus 1.80A minus minus 2 in the j direction plus 0 minus 4 so 0 minus 4 in the k direction these guys are in fit okay so if we clean vector ac a little bit it's equal to 0 negative 0 0.684 in the i direction we got positive 3.88 in the j direction and negative 4 in the k direction okay so after this we do the same we find our magnitude so we need to find the magnitude of vector ac so we apply Pythagorean theorem and we're gonna do negative 0 0.684 square plus 3.88 8 square plus negative 4 square and this gives let's see what we get so the square root of the negative 0 0.684 square plus 3.88 square plus 4 square and we get that this is equal to 5 0.61 fit 
So if we want to find the unit vector AC, we get, we need to do is that each component, we need to divide it by its magnitude, okay? So we get negative 0 0.684 divided by 5.61. Let's do this in one step. Let's do this by, uh, by decimal. So I'm going to do them. So negative 0 0.684 divided by 5.61 gives me negative 0 0.122 in the i direction plus 3.88 divided by 5.61 is equal to 0 0.692 in the j direction minus 4 divided by 5.61 is equal to 0 0.713 0 0.713 in the k direction okay that's our unit vector now if we want to find f of 2 is going to be its magnitude, which is 40, multiplied by the unit vector AC. So f of 2 is going to be equal, so we multiply 40 by each one of these decimals, so we multiply 40 by the negative 0 0.122, and we get negative 4 point, this is a 4, 0.88 in the i direction, plus 40 multiplied by the 69, 0.69, we get positive 27.7 in the j direction, minus 40 multiplied by the negative 0.713, we get negative 28.52. And all of these guys are pounds too okay so after doing this we have this composed of a one we have this composed of two so we can find the result so let's make some space over here we don't need these guys anymore and we find that the resultant force is going to be equal to f of one plus f of two Therefore, the resultant force is going to be, so if we start with x, so we got 6.83 minus 4.88, so we got 6.83 minus 4.88, we found that it's 1.95 in the i direction. Then if we do j, we get negative 4.56 plus 27.7 so it's negative 4.56 plus 27.7 we get that is positive 23.1 in the j direction and then last we find negative 18.2 minus 28.58 so negative 18.2 minus 28.52 we find that it's negative 46.72 okay if we want to find the magnitude the resultant force is going to be so we apply Pythagorean and we do 1.95 square plus 23.1 square plus 46.72 square it doesn't matter that I didn't include the negative it will give me the same value the negatives will cancel out so it doesn't matter So if we do this square root in the calculator, we square these guys, we find that the force is equal to 52.1, not 1.2 pounds, okay? So after having this, we can find our direction angles. So our direction angles, if we start with the direction with respect to the x, we can find them by using the inverse cosine. So we take the value of the x, which is 1.95, and we divide it by its magnitude. And that way we can find our angle. So we do inverse cosine of 1.95 divided by 52.2, and that gives me 87.9 degrees. 
then the angle with respect to the y-axis is going to be the inverse cosine of the y value which is 23.1 divided by 52.2 and that gives me let's see so 23.1 inverse cosine and we get 63.7 degrees and then last gamma which is with respect to the z-axis we do inverse cosine of the negative 46.7 over 52.2 and this is going to be equal to so inverse cosine of negative 46.7 divided by 52.2 equal to 153 degrees okay so that's the answer so they want us to find the magnitude so we found our magnitude for the resultant and the angles with respect to its coordinates okay if you guys have any question or any suggestion please comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Thank you.